So hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. And tonight I am going to be making some baked sweet potato and some fish. So I'm getting ready to put my baked potatoes in the oven. I have already washed them. And I'm getting ready to oil them. Whenever you bake sweet potatoes, you have to put oil on them. I usually put some butter if I have butter and I do have butter but I'm not I'm gonna put some some olive oil on it tonight and I'll save the butter for the inside so all you have to do is basically drizzle some on and this helps the peeling the outer the outer peeling to soften as they cook you don't have to put a lot that's my oven let me know that it's hot you don't have to put a lot y'all just enough to ensure that the peeling the outer peeling gets um soft these this is something that's actually um, sweet potatoes are healthy and they are good. They are naturally sweet when they bake the actual syrup. You'll see the syrup come out of them as they bake. And I'll show you that as we get further into the video. And that's all that's going to be on the menu tonight. I haven't. I'm just getting off and I'm making something, trying to make something quick as well as delicious. So I'm only making four. These are pretty good size. Once they get done, I'm going to open them and put some butter and brown sugar and cinnamon and nutmeg in it. That's going to make it extra yummy. I'm not showing myself tonight. I don't want to be on camera. I don't feel like being on camera. So for those of you that love to see the person behind the voice, I apologize tonight. But I'm just not feeling it. Okay. So now that I got these oiled, all I have to do is put them in the oven. I have my oven preheated to 400. And I'm just going to let these bake until they are tender and ready to eat. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So now, I move this way. Y'all can see it. I'm getting ready to season my fish. I have three way fillets that I'm cooking tonight and I will be using of course my accent and I have this um, laid out on a piece of aluminum foil so that when I'm done all I have to do is roll it up and put it in the trash easy clean up And I'm going in with my garlic powder. That garlic powder smells so good. And always remember with garlic powder, you can use as much as you like because it's not salty. I used to use garlic salt, but after I got to the point where salt makes my feet swell. I stopped using it and I just use powder. And of course, my lemon pepper. It also a little dark over here in this corner because my bulb on my microwave has blown out and I'm having a hard time trying to find it. So I'm going to have to break down and go to Lowe's. I looked around all the little stores here and I cannot find it. So it's probably a specialty bulb that I'm going to have to go to Lowe's and get. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get this lemon pepper in here. You can also use as much or as less of that if you like. And like I always say, use the seasoning of your choice. Season to your taste. Next, I have my Lori's. Now this does have salt in it, but I don't use it all the time and I don't use it often. Just sprinkle in a little. With fish, you have to season it for it to taste like something, so you do need a little salt. And last but not least, my complete seasoning. And I'm going to flip them and do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to carefully take my tongs and flip them so that I can season up the other side. And y'all be careful with them. So you don't tear them up when you're flipping them. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side that I did to the other side. Now I won't start cooking these until my potatoes are done, until I can mash them and they're soft. Then I'll know they're done. But I want to go ahead and put my seasoning on this fish so that the seasoning can go through it, if that makes sense. Okay, go back with my garlic powder. You'll see some lights blinking. That's my light fixture here in the middle of my kitchen. I don't know why it blinks, but. You're going to have to have that look at. Okay. So I'm putting my tops back on, y'all, as I use this stuff so I know I used it. It's late and I'm tired and I'm crazy enough to try to sprinkle it again. So I have one piece of this fish left out of that big bag I had, y'all. So. It's time to replenish. This will be my go-to fish. I love it. Didn't think I would, but I really do. Okay. My lorries. I'm sprinkling just a pinch. Just a pinch. A pinch, a pinch. Okay, and last but not least my complete seasoning. You can really smell the herbs in this. It smells amazing. Alright, so I have this seasoned and I'm just going to leave this here and let those seasonings marinate into that until my potatoes get done. And I will be using my Zatarain's Southern Crispy Fish Fry to fry it, to batter it. So, y'all stay tuned. I'll bring y'all back when I get ready to start frying. Alright, family, so my potatoes are done. And see, when you can mash them like that, you know they are done. So. to the side and get this fish started y'all got my oil already heating up got my Zatarain's fish fry here I'm just gonna move my box out of the way because my little space here is so small get that out of my way and what I did I put some on this tray with some foil y'all if um, y'all have a Sam's card or a Costco card, invest in a, a big box of this aluminum foil. It's the restaurant um, okay. 
the ones that they use in the restaurant. But I'm telling you, I brought one before I moved here last year in my other house. And I'm still using that. And it helps with cleanup. So, y'all, if you can get it. And they're not expensive. The big roll, they are not expensive. So, let me see what I'm going to do here. Let's see. Y'all, my space is so limited. I got to try to fix this so y'all can see what I'm doing here. Let's see if I can turn that around. Here we go. That is perfect angle. You don't have to worry about seeing me. I want you to see this. Is, got my big pan out tonight, and this is my my um, fish fry. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm not doing the batter tonight. The last time I did this fish, I battered it, but I'm not doing that tonight. I'm just going to use the breader. And I'm going to shake it here. You don't want to handle your fish too much because you don't, I well, I don't want mine to break apart. So all I'm doing is just going to swishing it here, making sure it get good and coated. And I still have to use my hands though, y'all. My hands are clean. I have washed them. Too breaded, but I do want my batter to stick on it. And by using it this way, y'all, if I run low and need some more, I can always sprinkle on just a little bit more and not have to waste it. This stuff right here don't cost a little bit of money. It's got a good little price tag on it, just for that little small box. Okay, so I'm gonna. Take some of it off, and here we go. Just make sure your grease is good and hot when you put it in there. So like I said, this is my big frying pan here. So I'm gonna put um, hmm, no, I think I'm just gonna do one at a time. Let me do that. I want you to see my grease is good and hot. That good thing, and y'all, it's gonna take long for them to cook. Not at all. I'm wash my hands back here. paper towel to put them on. Let me grab that from out here. I wish I could smell in here. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. It smells delicious. And this fish fry is just a golden brown color. That helps some. Um, make sure that the fish get brown. And it also says on the box that it has um, real lemonade. Yeah, I'm gonna start popping here. Mm. 
I don't want to get burned, y'all. Watching my phone go up here because it has that um, has some of that thread on it from where I turned it to the beginning, flipped it. Make sure I mess that off and dry it. So that when I stick this back in here, there's, there's no water on it, it don't burn me up. So that's looking right. And y'all, I did sprinkle on a little bit of uh, paprika off camera. I forgot to put that on whenever I was actually. Um, oh, look at that. I don't want to burn it. over there to go ahead and stick me another piece in there so that's what I'm gonna do. And I tell you all you have to be mighty hungry to eat two pieces of this because they are so big. Now the pack do come with a couple of smaller pieces in it, but I think we've already used those. I'll probably cook those in my first couple of times I cooked out of that pack. And yep, just like I thought. I will have to add just a little more of the um, breader in here, but not much. There won't be any waste. piece in there. Just be careful and don't burn your digits. Just gently lay it in. Don't throw it in. If you will have a problem then. Bring yourself up. Oh boy, I went right to the store, y'all, and forgot to get me some tartar sauce. My mind is so short. But anyway, I'll eat it with some I'll be happy to put me some Texas heat on there. That's just as good. I love my color. I don't write my little menu, my little um, grocery list down, even no matter how small it is or how low it is, I'll forget something. But it's okay. I'll make sure I get some over the weekend. I'm thinking about making myself and my husband a buffalo chicken pizza and some chicken wings, buffalo wings. So hopefully I can get that done over the weekend if we don't have to go to work Saturday morning. I hope not. I'm so tired of this, all this overtime. It's wearing me out, y'all. The money's good, but it's more black than working all the time. Especially when you have a family. need those little extra, your little two days off, so you can get things that you need to get done. Okay, let me check on this one here. Right. I'm going to 
there we go, yeah, look how pretty and golden brown that is. Stretch my buddy. I'm going to go ahead and take this last piece and go ahead and get it threaded so that when that one is ready to come out, I can throw this one on in. Well, not throw it, but put it on in. Speech. Never throw hot anything in hot grease, no matter what it is. Make sure you get all on the sides. myself in this kitchen more than once. Okay, so we are almost done. Like I said, y'all, I get off at 8 o'clock at night, so it is now 10.47, but still we have to eat. So y'all probably won't get this video until in the morning. I'll go ahead and get it edited and ready to go first thing in the morning. But I'm just trying to make sure I get some content out. Most times I'm so tired, I don't want to be bothered with it, but I can't disappoint my family. Thank you, too, family. Yeah. I don't want to break down. 
Yeah. It's not too brown. Delicious. Wow. I knew my mama would come up when she smelled this pot. <laughs> I got up, y'all. Yeah. My last piece here. You're going to be in the film. You're going to be in the video. <laughs> That's my last piece there. Actually, I can use this again now. Set this on the foil. I'm going to fold it up, put it in my refrigerator, and when I get ready to cook my last little piece that I got in there, I can use this. It's just one piece left from my bag of fish I had. So I'm going to just fold this up, put it in my refrigerator to keep it. And then when I'm ready to cook that one little piece, I'll use my last piece that I got in there. Put it in my refrigerator and let it cook for about 15 minutes. my butter. So it all come together at the same time, ready to eat. Okay, let me grab myself a knife and cut me off a piece of this butter. I'm going to melt it slow because I don't want it to Butter will burn y'all if you're not careful. I don't want it to burn. I just want it to melt. So I'm gonna, this is about a half a stick. I'm gonna put a half of this stick on there. I meant in here. Ooh, I'm tired. I'm talking crazy, y'all. Just gonna let that melt down. Once it melts, I'm going to pour it into this and pour it over my potato, my little ramekin. I may go ahead and put the rest of that uh, pepper stick in there. You see? her the way she wanted. She probably like to eat her spoon, so that's a tablespoonful of brown sugar. Maybe I'll go ahead and put two. This is going to be for two potatoes. Spread over the top of it. Okay. 
together. Just going like a little syrup. Oh my god, yeah, that's gonna be so good. Alright, let me go ahead and get my now the nutmeg is powerful, so you don't have to have a whole lot of that. So let me change, let me um go ahead and turn my fish first. I don't want that big baby burn. Anything you make, you can always add more, but you can't take away once you put it in. That just makes it smell so good. Brown sugar, butter, cinnamon, and nutmeg. That's what this is. Get your own. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. That's exactly where I want it. delicious with this potato. Put you a dollop of um put a dollop of uh sour cream. Not sour cream, cream cheese. Oh, and a warm baked potato. Alright, so I'm trying to keep the fire off this fish because it is done. Now I'm just let this steam. See if I can get it out this pan without burning myself up. That's what we can. Talk about delicious. This is 
my final product for my fish. Yeah, I'll try this sometimes. I'm, I'm sure you'll like it. And let me just go ahead and get this poured up. I don't want to make a mess. So I'm going to put it on pause for just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and make, oh my, this video has gone a long time. I'm going to go ahead and make my husband a plate and y'all, I'll be back. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I thank you guys for tuning in. This is my finished product. That is the fish and that is that sweet potato based in the brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and uh, butter. And my Texas Pete on deck. So I thank y'all for stopping by, tuning in, and I will see you guys on my next video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell so that you are aware each time I upload a new video. I love you all with the love of Jesus. Y'all stay safe and stay blessed. Good night.